There we go. <laughs> Come on. Forgive me for a moment. I'm just taking this in the power. What? Oh. When this car launched in Britain, it cost £37,000. Its twin turbo straight six engine gave the Supra 325 brake horsepower. 0 to 60 in just under five seconds. 0 to 60 in just under five seconds in the 90s. This was a proper supercar killer. In fact, car magazines of the day pitched the Supra against some of the biggest players in the game. Players like the Porsche 911 Turbo. The Aston Martin DB7. Even the Ferrari 512 Testarossa. Oh, oh. I have literally just overtaken my teenage bedroom wall. Amazing. These were cars that cost three, four, even five times more than the Supra. But it kept pace with a lot of them. And then some. Supercar scurrying performance as standard was just the start. Oh! Because the Supra was also very easy to make, very much faster. Listen to them pop and hit! Japanese sports car heaven! This was the car that kick-started Generation Fast and Furious. With a little bit of know-how, you can boost these cars to up to 800 brake horsepower or even more than that, and they never blow up. Mostly. 